Oh. All right, back on this again. So here's our tool. Basically, this goes up on here. The dogs go in here, and it duplicates the, uh, the drum up there, so you can see where the alignment is at on these forks. So, do you take this, stick it up on here in the dowels, and you line it up. See how it lines up good there. Uh, see that one you can't line up because it's in the way, so you're going to have to rotate it until it goes in. Right. And so now it lines up. So if you got it right, so you're gonna, when it's tight, right. it make sure you're all the way down. Okay, so if this is correct, this is correct. Now you take it over here, rotate it. And you put it on top of your case. And you look at your shift forks. Alright, now, see your dogs right here? Yeah. Okay, you've got them all three lined up. See, everything has clearances in here. Right. So make sure you push everything this direction. And see it almost touches? Right. Now you push it all the way the other way. And see how you got a big gap there. Right. So this fork needs to go this way, half of that gap. Okay. So you remember you gotta go this way a bunch. That's we'll give it like two washers initially. It probably would take like three, but we'll just do two right first shot. And we'll fix that lock tab while we're at it. Okay, now the same thing happens on the other gear down inside where you can't even see it. It doesn't matter if you can see it or not. You gotta get in there and do it. And I think obviously he was in here dicking around with this thing because see the big gap in there? You got a yeah. over three sixteenths of an inch in there. Holy cow. And over here it's actually engaged in the gear and I didn't have to move the gear. I haven't even moved it over yet. I'm all the way to the to the outside. So what the hell? And that thing's off by an eighth of an inch. So my guess is somebody had something apart in here and never put it back together. At least not correctly. Yeah, look at the size of this. Look at the size of that washer there. Yeah, well, something wrong. Okay. Yeah. Loose lock. Take the bushings off. Right. Get these loosened up. So that one's got to go... Okay. That direction. See this big fat washer here? Yep. We're going to put that on the other side of the fork. Okay. And that's where we're going to start with on that one. Okay, yep. this one over here, see the fat washers in between the two, which is okay. But we need to take some of these washers over here and stick them on this side mm -hmm. of the fork mm -hmm. to move it over a little bit. Okay. So that's the game plan. So you go ahead and take it all out here, and that's what we're going to do. Make sure you don't rotate anything when you take it off because everything is a certain direction. Okay, so you've only got two washers here. Remember I told you I want to go two? Yep. Now they make these in seven and fifteen tile thicknesses. And these ones feel like they're the sevens. They'll go fifteens. Fifteens? I think so. Get back in the dog right there. The keyway right there. Yep. Come on. There it goes. Here's our worn out lock tab. Put that back on for now. So we're out of washers on this one. So if that's not enough, we'll put some new one, put some more washers on it. Okay, so that one goes back in. That's the movement in that the direction <coughs> opposite of where we're standing. Okay, now this one here, okay, we can't get the fork out because the gear is in the way. Okay, rotate it until it pops over and the fork comes out. Okay. Now uh, this one. Good or not. Good or bad. Walk. Non existent lock walk. lock. No tabs on it. Right. Okay, so there's our broken tab washer. There's our stack of washers. And then we have no washers on that side. So 
So we're going to take out the thick one that we saw over here. Yep. And we'll put that over there. And I'm just going to take one of those two for the hell of it. Yep. Because we were way the hell off. Way off. And we'll put it back together. This one goes down here. Those. We've got two washers left, and we'll be out on this one. Is it typically four washers you're messing with all the time, or is this whatever it takes? Whatever there? it takes. All right. Usually you got a stack of washers, and there's usually extra ones, so it doesn't hurt to have a few extras. See how the we're pretty deep on our threaded here? Yeah. There's missing washers. There should be more washers. Okay, we're back to. Okay, now you got to remember to go ahead and tighten the nuts back down again. If the nuts are loose, it gives you a false reading. Now if you don't have this tool, one of the tricks you can do is take your cover, make sure you're in neutral, Crap in there. Mm. Now neutral's on the top of the titty right there. Go ahead and put these in the center. Take this, lay it up on here. Put it in flat and then kind of roll it off evenly like this. Okay. And it'll give you a rough idea where it is. The problem is everything's got clearance in it. Right. Or slop. And you know, so it, it can be 15 or 20 thou off easily. Okay. So it's not a quite right. So it's best to use the tool. Now the tool definitely makes it work better. Now if you look at the, see how much the forks move when I put the tool on it. Did they move any? Mm. Couldn't tell. Me either. I sort of lost it when you beat it. When I beat on it. Okay, so see our gap now over here? And see our gap over here. We went too far. Too far? We need to go no. back. We need to go that way a little bit. See that gap? It's pretty tight. See that's bigger on this side? I don't know. I do. Okay. You don't like it that way? I do I think they look pretty damn close. Yeah, it's not that far off. But yeah, it's it's one more. Actually, you look at it better, probably. Yes, yeah. But if you want to shift better in second gear, you can go one washer that way. Extra. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Now you can put a feeler gauge in here and measure it. Get fancy. You can mark the screwdriver and push them so far. Pull up, pull over here, do the same thing. It should be the same mark if it's equal. Right. Or you just eyeball it. Yeah, eyeball looks good. That one looks good. Alright. Now this one over here. It was way the hell off before. So we gotta get over here where the dog is at. Okay, so if you look down through the top center, see the gap between the dogs? The tips of the tops of the dog, not the bottoms. The top is one that's the top and that tooth is about where the top is. They're actually catty quarter from each other. Okay. But you see the gap right there? Yeah, I see the gap. Okay, now you go on the other side. Take the clearance out and go the other way. And you look at the gap on that side. Okay. You see that's a little bit closer? Yep. So we need to go a little bit more. But we're a hell of a lot closer than it was. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get an idea where I'm at. There we go. See where I can see. Okay. What was the one over on this side? Yeah. So we're going to wind up putting those washers like I talked. So we probably have to use them. All three of them. All of them on one side. <coughs> yeah. Make sure you take the bushings off because they like to drop. Right. And you'll be looking around for them. For them. Where did the bushings okay, go? I got the shaft a little bit too deep so it won't come out easily. So we find my little punch, which is a long skinny one. That hole right there, nobody knows what it's for. <laughs> Just happens to push her on that shaft. Yeah, that's a good one. And the old bikes, they didn't have that. What did you do? Just you put a hole in it and push them out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hence now the permanent hole there. Oh, I forgot to uh, Tight. loosen it. Loosen. Getting ahead of myself again. That side's okay. Needs a new lock cap. Right. Well, I'm getting tired now. Uh oh. The excitement has waned. No, I'm, this is exciting, but <laughs> there's like a point in time when like a slave. you've been up since 4 o'clock. It's only uh, 9 o'clock. Yeah. It's only 5 hours. Well, not your 4 o'clock, my 4 o'clock, oh. which is 4 o'clock in the morning. I was still up at that 4 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay, there's one washer going over. You're going to put both washers over. We'll maximize it. And go get a lock washer. And you get a couple lock washers. All right, I'm going to take a pause here. Take a pause.